Wow, it's, it's not every day that you get a phone call for a museum here. We're just coming off the heels of... Absolutely. The Byway Collection and uh, another museum calls us up and says, Miller & Miller, can you help me? We are in the process of figuring out what to do. I see a couple of signs on the door, a few nice Canadian signs on the outside. So if that's any indication as to what's inside, I think we're in for a real treat. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. There's the general store setup. We've got steam era vehicles. This is the earliest form of automobile that I've ever seen. It, it's steam powered. Wow, Rio truck. Just the fact that the brass and the copper and the metal work, the, the side lights, just an incredible example of human creation, really. Just a remarkable piece of equipment. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. We are getting our minds blown. We never expected to see what we're seeing today in the Horseless Carriage Museum. This museum, Fenelon Falls, Ontario, in existence for decades, and now Miller & Miller has been commissioned to sell the contents. They sent us photos. It was easy to pick out some very, very valuable, desirable and rare pieces. The condition was so good and when you see something that's in perfect condition oftentimes you wonder whether it's an original piece or whether it's had restoration or whether it's maybe just a complete reproduction but when I walked in to see immediately you get this feeling that this collection has been here and it's intact and everything's right and everything's original and it's untouched. Every single weekend they were out trying to gather. They were telling the story behind the item. Every item in this museum tells a unique story. And here is where it ended up. And the beauty of it is they've never sold anything. So from what I understand, this was the first car to travel down Wellington Street in Sherbrooke, Quebec. Now, could you imagine the looks on those people's faces? My understanding was that he actually walked to the United States to buy the vehicle. And the first time that he got in it, he ended up getting in a crash. And there's evidence on one of these rims. That's the repair that had to be done before he even made it back to show off the car in Quebec. Until we showed up this morning, these people were on the fence about whether to consign, how to move forward. And at the end of the day, this is 100% about trust. Thank you.